Hey folks, if you're new or haven't done it yet, do me an act of kindness and hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free. While you're at it, hit the like and share. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Let's get into it. Now this was shared to me from one of our elders, Miss Emma Moore. Now we all know that the heart of a good dog just can't be beat. They're kind, gentle, forgiving, and loyal. And there's a story about a local dog back in the mountains that just roamed around and everybody loved. He said he was all that and more. So everybody loved him, and he loved them too. Miss Emma said that back when she was a younger gal, said it was her job, being the oldest, to kind of help take care of her brothers and sisters. Said in her spare time, she used to love to go for walks back in the mountains and through the woods, things like that. And said she was sweet on a little feller that didn't live too far, awful far from her, named Hugh. Now I reckon old Hugh said that he'd come and walk with her in the evening. Well, on one of their walks, said they went out on a big old rock. Said they sitting there looking at the scenery, and talking about how pretty it was. Well, old Hugh was looking kind of away, like, and he got it in his mind he was going to try to sneak and get him a little sugar. Well, said when he turned his head toward her, <laughs> he seen an old dog sticking his head in between theirs. <laughs> Said Emma said she started laughing. Said old Hugh he did too. Said she asked him if it was his dog. Said she had seen him roaming around there fur back as she could remember, just didn't know who he belonged to. So old Hugh said, no, said, ain't my dog. Said, that's old Buster. Said he just roams around, I reckon. Said he's a friendly old soul. Said Emma said when Hugh walked her home, so old Buster, he decided he was going to follow him. He said, Lord, Hugh, you're going to have to get him on off with you. He said, if Daddy sees him, he said, oh, he'll be madder than the old wet hen. He said, but Buster was persistent because he heard youngins. <laughs> said, he was bound and determined to get him some scratching and some lovings. Well, said the next morning, said she got up. And says she heard her daddy out on the porch. Says she thought, uh-oh. Says she got up and run out the door there. Said there was her daddy. Petting old Buster. <laughs> she said old Buster said he was loved by everybody. Said she went into town once with her folks. And naturally, here come old Buster wagging his tail. Said all through town, people, especially young ones, would holler, well, Hey, Buster. And all oh, said it just get all over him. <laughs> said, God love it. Said he'd get up and run, run over to him. Said he'd roll over on his back. Said he wanted his belly scratched. Said them young ones, said they'd get over and get to scratching his belly, and he'd get excited and jump up and take off running back and forth. Said, when he did that, said, them young uns, said, that Lord, said, bless their little hearts, said, that they'd cackle out laughing, they'd clap their little hands, and <laughs> jump up and down, and holler, here he comes again. <laughs> and long old Buster loved him, too. Said, one time, said, he just vanished, just disappeared. Said, nobody had seen him. Said, Emma. Uh, said her daddy even asked about him, but nobody had seen him. Said some of the elder folks told him, said it, not to worry too much, but said it is a possibility, said that he went off up in the mountains and an old painter or an old snake got him. But she said she didn't want to think about that. Well, one evening, 
they all gathered up and went to preaching. Said when they got there, a lady who had been, you know, had a mighty sick young'un, she was there. Had that young'un with her, he was might better. And there was Buster. See, Emma, she wanted to run over there and pet Buster, but her mama told her to stay away from him till after church, said not to get her son to go to meeting clothes, you know, dirty. Well, said that lady, got to tell Emma's mama about how poor old Buster had run up that little old boy whenever she brought him out of the doctor's office. So old Buster started loving on him. But I reckon you know how animals can kind of sense when people don't feel good. Well, said he knowed that young and didn't feel good at all, mighty sick. But said after that, she said he followed him all the way home. Now she said the boy's daddy wouldn't let old Buster in the house. So, said, God love him, said poor old Buster sat outside up and underneath that boy's window all night, every night till he got better. And said every morning, whenever that boy's daddy go to work, said his mom would slip around and let Buster in. <laughs> said he'd get in there and said he'd jump all over that bed with that young and lick around on his face and stuff. And said tickle that boy to death and said done that till he got to feeling better. Buster's job was done. Emma said it weren't uncommon to see old Buster passing by the house on a tractor with somebody or in the back of an old truck or sometimes on the hood or on the top of the cow. And said if her little brothers and sisters seen him and started hollering whoever was giving Buster a ride, they'd hear him bark. So they'd have to stop so he could hop off and go over there and visit for a spell and get him some lovings. And she said he even loved other animals too. Well, said that cats weren't too fond of the whole idea, but <laughs> said Buster, said he tried to love around on them anyway. Said Lord of mercy, said Buster tickled them half to death one time. Said a bunch of them was having a get together. Well, said he weren't long, said here come Buster dragging up. He went around to everybody collecting his, his loving and his pats on the head and scratching the stuff. Well, said he spotted a great big old groundhog and thought he was going to make him a new friend. Boy, he was mighty wrong. <laughs> said that old groundhog went plumb off, boy. And said old Buster, he turned around for the world, said he had an expression on his face, and said, Hey, wait a minute now, this ain't how it goes, what happened? <laughs> yeah, old Buster, he roamed the hills for a mighty long time. He was the kindest, most loving old feller you'd ever meet. Emma said his poor old eyes would just shine with love and happiness. She said one day, though, Many, many, many years later, said an old farmer man named Frank lived up not far from him there. Got to tell him, said he seen old Buster easing across his yard one evening. Said he just knowed something weren't right. Said, you know, by then, old Buster said he was old and partially blind. Couldn't hardly hear good. Old Frank said he stopped his working there and said he run across the yard let him smell his hand recognized him you know picked him up told him it's okay and said took him in the house and laid him on the couch well said he offered Buster a little food and water but the poor old Buster said he drank him just a little tiny sup but he didn't want nothing to eat well old Frank he knowed what was happening. So, said he eased Buster's head up just slightly, slid his arm underneath his head, and said he sat there on his knees. Said he sat there and patted old Buster and told him what such a good boy he was, how loving he was, how caring, how much everybody loved him. And like that, he was gone. Said when word spread, said it broke everybody's heart. 
Said they buried old Buster, but nobody forgot him. The youngins, they growed up and grew old. But they told their youngins and their grandbabies about the story and their memories of old Buster. Bless his heart, God love him. I believe it fits here too, folks. Like I always say, you can't always see the wings on an angel.